I tried to resist as long as I could, but I had to get a smartphone, and I discovered the wonderful world of QR codes. In this video, I'll show you how you can easily make your own. Okay, the application that we're going to use is QTQR. Now let's go down to graphics, and there it is. Up. And it will enable to make your own QR code, really quite simply. And uh, containing different types of information if you want. There it is, it's a nice simple display. And you can either choose from the default text, so if you want to contain a message, a URL, bookmark, email, a telephone number, contact information, SMS, an MMS, geolocations, Wi-Fi information, quite useful, and lastly, SEPA single payment. You can choose pixel size, error correction, so you want how clear it is, and margin size. We'll just leave it at the defaults. You can decode from file, decode from webcam, which is not attached, or save your newly generated QR code. So I've already got one pre-prepared, I'll just drag it over. This is the one I use on my um, YouTube videos. And it asks you, contains the following address, and it gives you the address that it contains, and do you want to open it in a browser? You could edit it, choose no or yes. I'm going to choose yes, and the browser, if it opens correctly, and there we go, it's opened up my YouTube page, my own page. And that was really, um, really easy to do. So to create your own URL, if you want to point it to your YouTube site or any website that you want, you choose URL selection at the top, and you just fill in that detail at the bottom there. Yes, I'm going to type this in wrong, so I want to show you how easy it is to edit a mistake. It's not difficult. So I do YouTube forward slash RoboNuggy. I forget the dot com. And I'll go through the motions of saving the QR code. And we'll give it a name uh, to differentiate it from the one that's already there. We'll call it a new QR code. And there we go. It's all saved. And then that's it. If you realize you've made a mistake and you want to change something, or you want to change some details of a previous made one, you can either drag it to the applications I showed you earlier, or you can choose to do it the old-fashioned way of decode from file, and then load up the file. In this case, it was the new QR code. So, do you want to open it in a browser? Yes, no, or edit? And we'll pretend that we don't know it's a mistake. So we'll choose open it in a browser, and oh no, it hasn't worked. Obviously, it hasn't worked because there's no .com. So, realizing the error that we made, we want to change some details. And obviously, you can see it's the no.com, so I'll just add that in. And you can see in real time the pattern changed. Save it. We've overwritten it, and now it should work. So, if you want to change some details, maybe uh, someone's address has changed, or your phone number's changed, or your URL's changed then it's easy to make an addition. So very nice. Of course, the other choices we can, bookmarks. This is what it looks like if you want to fill in your bookmark details. Email, it's quite useful. On a business card, for instance. Telephone number, contact number, or contact information. The SMS. That's useful if you want to send a, a message to somebody, they say scan that. Latitude and longitude, Wi-Fi network. This is useful for, uh, say, for instance, an IT room, and you want to quickly get the details rather than actually fill it in manually. That's that's really nice. In fact, I might use that myself. And that one at the bottom, I have no idea what that is. Um, I don't think I'll be using that one. So yes, it's really quite easy. And as you might have seen at the beginning of the video, I'm actually going to start using the QR code myself. Just as an addition, I'm just going to show um, my phone scanning it. There we go. And it's scanned and it says it's safe. Open up the website. You know, it looks promising so far. YouTube is starting. Hey, there we go. And it's uh, 
it's quite reassuring to know that I've designed the uh, the banner correctly that it shows up on mobile devices. Very nice. And there we go. Really, really impressed by that. Quite simple, useful. And uh, I'll say that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.